Hello everyone. I thought I would just do a quick video to say um, thank you for all your wonderful messages on the back of the video I put out yesterday. So yeah, it was quite an emotional video I put out. Um, I managed to film going back to the house yesterday. Um, yes, it was flooded. So I don't know if, if you haven't seen the video yet, um, go and see it. It does show kind of how flooded the house got and how much damage there is inside, how much um, water got in there. So yeah, it was quite quite a difficult video to do, but I managed to do it and obviously get it out yesterday. Yeah, and I'm really grateful for you yeah, coming with me on the boat back to our home to see kind of what, um, what it was like. But yeah, I thought I would get the video out and, um, and I'll pretty much show you because yeah, it was it was hard. It, I will say it was hard seeing our home like that, seeing what you know what what, the, what state it was in. Obviously, we'd only been in there what just six months, I think, since we'd completed it, doing all the kind of works to get it ready to move in. We moved in the end uh, end of October, November. So yeah, maybe not even six months. So yeah, it was. Um, it was difficult seeing it like that, but we had to do it. We managed to get a few more things that we um, that we needed, um, a few clothes that we managed to salvage and wash, uh, but we couldn't really take much back on the boat, no, nothing big. But to be honest, we're not really moving anything out of the house at the moment, because um, we do want somebody to go back in there when it's all kind of clarified what's going on to assess and yeah not really to kind of start moving everything because yeah we want to want to kind of document everything that was in there that's been damaged so yeah we can hopefully put some sort of claim in as well but yeah there is there is support hopefully um from from the government here there, there, there will be something so yeah any anything will be great so um that's kind of good to know we will have some some sort of support but yeah we don't know what kind of damage completely done to the house until all the waters have gone and by the looks of the amount of water yesterday you know it's going to be a couple of weeks if not longer for all that water to go and to be able to get back there properly you know without having to go on a boat and things like that because yeah there's basically the, the boats we're getting there are just neighbors and um, they've got their own um, blow up boat with um, yeah, some like, petrol engine on there and then, yeah and as many as could film that boat got on there and he's kind of doing like a taxi service um back and forth so um yeah it's thank you to the neighbors that are doing that and yeah our community staying strong and just sharing ideas and sharing information you know so yeah it was quite a quite an emotional video one video to put out that one but um i don't think we're going to go back that much there's no point um everything is very dirty in there you know obviously it's we don't want to kind of get ill from from kind of going back there as well because yeah the water is just smelly filthy dirty and there's nothing you can really do until that water's gone anyway and yeah we want to get it assessed before we start really moving doing anything trying to um you know rip it all out or whatever but um yeah i'm just actually sat in orimbergia um so you can just see the building behind me it's like a an event center sporting center it has like um sports clubs in there and it puts like concerts on or um music events something like that so it's quite a big um big event center but it's got really nice grounds it's got lovely um benches and, and nice trees and gardens you can probably hear the birds tweeting away there but um it's actually very warm again today it's about 27 degrees so Rather than just sat inside the flat, I thought I'd just come out for a quick walk and um, yeah, just update you on that. And also just to thank everyone for the amazing, amazing messages that are coming through. It's really um, uplifting for us. It's really nice information that everybody is sending. We have such an amazing community on YouTube. It's um, only growing, which is great, but it's um, just so nice to read all those messages. Even my extended family, you know, obviously they follow me and they're, they're reading all the um, messages as well. And it's kind of helping everybody. It's even helping my neighbors. Um, they've said, you know, Martin, thank you for putting the videos out. It's um, helping them as well. So that's why I'm trying to do as many videos as I can. Yes, it's difficult sometimes because um, yeah, so many 
kind of emotions we're to, having to deal with and information and everything but we're staying strong Yulia's strong our family's strong yes we've all got um, homes and properties affected here in the floods but we'll get get through it rebuild whatever we have to do we're not leaving Orenburg we are happy here we're happy in Russia I'm very happy in Russia I absolutely love it here and um, you can see my older videos before the floods I was um, you know my genuine happiness there so yeah we're just gonna rebuild get on with it the kids are very settled and happy here we've got a lovely lovely amazing gymnasium um, and school for everybody else um, so they've been very supportive and praying for us and things like that so yeah we're very grateful to everybody has kind of supported us and yes the, 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 you know the donations as well that people have sent in because yeah there's a there is a lot of financial damage there yeah, pretty much everything we had in our home from you know furniture to fixtures fittings kitchen all of that clothes electronic items all of that you know it's it's all um yeah it's all, all pretty much gone whole insides will have to be ripped out so yeah there's quite quite a financial loss there but um yeah hopefully we'll get some support from from the state as well which we're very grateful for put applications in for for what we can do there at the moment so we'll keep up to date with that and see see what happens there but yeah we're staying, staying strong we haven't um turned our back on Orenburg or um Russia or anything it's um it's great and just all the people from all over the world as well from so many countries I can't name them all I'm not gonna single one out but pretty much the majority of countries throughout the world have sent me and my family and the community of Orenburg some amazing amazing messages on YouTube and telegram we do have a telegram channel as well which we do share a few other things like pictures and, and a few bits of information of what we're finding out so um, links are in the description if you want to follow us on telegram as well but yeah it was just a kind of a an update of what we did why we did that yesterday and i'll um i'll try and get some more videos out in the week i might not be able to get some out tomorrow or tuesday but i'll um i'll update you when i know more or anything interesting has happened because um yeah a lot of you in the community want saying you want to keep up to date because you're um, all praying praying for us so um, I'm listening to you all and yeah just just hope hope you enjoy what I'm kind of sharing again if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe it really boosts the channel it made my day if we could get to at least 10,000 subscribers you know it, it's that that's my milestone I wanted to hit with this channel so um, yeah if you're not subscribed subscribe like and um, share this video I'll see you soon.